about Neo Steam Labs. Hi, I'm Norma and this is... Luke First of all, I want to talk a little bit about Luke. Luke is a senior uh, programmer. He's a dentist and biologist. He's from Canada. I am from Mexico. We got married like uh, 19 years ago. And uh, during all this time, we have been living in different places. Like uh, we live a while in Canada, we live a while, a while in Mexico City, in the Estado de Mexico. And we went to live uh, in United States, in Oceanside. And uh, he had some projects from programming, but uh, he had a health problem. He got a massive stroke, and uh, due to that, uh, he had a condition. He has a aphasia, and it is very difficult for him to talk. So he's uh, trying to do it. Like he has uh, advanced a lot since he had that uh, stroke because he couldn't move uh, one side of his uh, body and he couldn't speak at all. So now he is making a lot of effort to, to be able to work and to do um, all the art that he's doing now with the new STEAM lab. Myself, I've been working uh, well, like an uh, administrator before in Mexico and then but all my life I have like uh, the art. I've been uh, uh, drawing and painting and I am an autonomous artist. So um, I started doing it since the early 80s and uh, well I've been continuing with the painting and uh, now I am very in in the Centangle Art and Mandalas and uh, Luke asked me to collaborate with his project, with this new STEAM lab. Uh, he has some things to, that he wants to show you. Please have, have patience with him because it's very, very difficult for him to talk. Sean Wee, the his father, the father, the, the design for and plan for the trucks and this and before kids here cocotier breakfast eggs Jean-Louis draw a truck or whatever here and here for breakfast and cook, cut the eggs and the his father used to, to draw on, the, on his egg for breakfast. He used to cut it, the top, and eat it. But uh, he already had to make a design on the egg. He used to see that and he used to love that part of, of uh, the breakfast. The standard and it's like this pen and before the same thing. Design, photography. Because he used to love the photography and he used to take a lot of, of uh, photos everywhere he was going. He just, and he used to make all the process, the lab, the, take the picture and then he makes the lab and uh, take the, the end work, like photos. Yeah, so me, like <coughs> before, but like and why? Because. Well, on his time there was no colors on the photos, so. It yes, was black but and white, yeah. Black and white, yes, but money, no. Sports or cars or uh, the, the the views in the nature, no? Nature or this. So two camera and go and black or and expensive the photo because the so now, good. So he has some work that he has done there. He wants to show you what kind of photos he has uh, been able to take. Yeah. Flowers. Yeah. 
Those photos have been taken like in recent years and they are like plastified. It's not the same technique that before, before it was uh, painful to do a photo because you had to take it, then uh, go to the lab and reveal and uh, yeah. get it in paper, etc. Now it is easier, much more easy with the digital cameras and telephones. So, so that is the sea in Oceanside we were, we were living some years ago. So, and now he wants to show you uh, his new work and with uh, his new project that is with the new STEAM lab that uh, has been doing this kind of work. Oh, this, the jewelry. Jewelry. And like uh, air, earrings? Earrings. He has yeah. been doing earrings, earrings that we will show you on the next episode. Uh, and me built for the the jewelry and Norma mandala. Oh yes, I am going to show you my mandalas. Here I wrote, I drew a little bit. I painted this uh, thing and uh, draw some mandala things like more than centangle work. So. And look, build this thing to hang all the jewelry that he is creating. So he wants you to, he will show you on the next episode, so you can see the kind of work he's doing. It is very interesting. So he has this uh, thing that is a kind of box that he created. Yeah. Uh, before art paintings or meat paintings too and Dali is like... Ay, Dali is his favorite uh, artist and uh, uh, he inspired his work on Dali. And the steep punk, steep punk is the art and this here steep punk. The is the is the style the steampunk. Uh -huh. So here bottle for whatever. It's a box to say whatever you want. But me building like this and photo the times. Uh -huh. So this this steampunk like the name. So me, art and photo and the whatever here, me, art. Yeah, I know. Lou wanted me to show you to whom the kind of work I do. I mean, like I told you, I started painting like uh, around 80s, a long time ago. And this is my very, very first painting I did from that time. It is an oil, it is done with oil, and it's my very, very first. So I did some work like this, like this but then I started painting with the acrylics that are easier and, uh, to work with. And now that I, mm, three years ago, almost four, I started working with uh, doing this kind of art the mandalas, this is one of the one I did uh, on that time. And I try to wrap to to draw every day centangle art and mandalas. The centangle art it is very very interesting and very helpful has been very helpful for me because after look stroke I had a very hard time. Uh, it was very difficult for me to accept the situation we were living after that and uh, I had to find something to to get better because I was very nervous all the time. I had uh, some anxiety attacks but after starting working with the centangle my life came better and uh, uh, 
I'm doing something I like. I like to work a lot with the uh, colors and uh, like uh, my mind gets busy and I start creating and creating and creating. So if anyone has a problem like that, I recommend you a lot to do Centangle Art or Mandala. Centangle Art, uh, the meaning of Centangle means that Cent is meditation and tango is a mess. So, I mean, while you are meditating, you are doing a mess with your, with your drawing and uh, you can do whatever you want. So, this is me, I have seen some, this is a book I did, in another time I will show you. And those are the first mandalas I did on that time, when I started doing. So, this is me, and I just wanted to show you this, look at me to, to do it for you. I think that for now this is all and uh, we thank you for watching us and we hope that uh, you, you enjoy our videos.